everyone, it's Megan. Welcome to Megan and the Trumbo Tribe Adventures. Easter is over. It's the next day. I can't believe it. Miley, did you have a good Easter? She did. It was her first Easter and I think she had a really good time. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter with your families celebrating. Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice for all the sins in the world. And we just got done celebrating that God conquered death and rose again three days later with the promise that he is going to return again for all his people who believe in him. But I just wanted to get on here and encourage everyone to celebrate that not only on Easter, but every day of the year for everyone. It's, it's to be celebrated every day by everyone and especially to all of you who carry heavy burdens and are um, just tired and weary. Life is tough and I can sure attest to um, just trying to keep my head up and uh, I'm, I'm still mourning the loss of loved ones and just other daily things and anxieties that I go through and I know that when I put my hope and trust in Jesus and I pray to him it never fails um, and because I believe in Jesus I believe that the hope and peace is real because I've received it um, it's just I, it can't be explained it truly is the peace that passes all understanding that's truly what Easter is all about, is Jesus dying for us and bringing us that hope and peace that passes all understanding. I try to just reflect this Easter and absorb really truly what was going on. And just absorb truly what the Easter story was all about. And, and I had a verse uh, Sunday morning at church that really stood out to me. And it is, do not be afraid only believe. Do not be afraid, only believe. And I've heard verses like that before in the Bible of God telling us, um, cast all your anxieties on him, don't be afraid. But it just really stood out to me this year that that is just truly all we have to do is do not be afraid, just believe. And it just really means he did all the work for us. We can cast all our cares, our bird, our heavy burdens, everything that we, all the chains and everything that we deal with on a daily basis, we can give to him and all we have to do is just believe and he will take all that. That doesn't guarantee that we'll never have trouble in our lives or go through um, hard times, but it does assure us that we will have the hope that one day he will return and we really will not die and we will live forever with him in heaven one day and every tear will be wiped away. There's, here's a verse. Anxiety and uh, grievance and um, other things that, and other hard times that people go through is almost a daily task to get through because the devil, the enemy, is on you daily to keep you down and he's going to use those circumstances to keep you down. So it takes daily prayer and connection with God to give you that peace all over again and God wants you to come to him over and over again guys I know that my most troubled times and uh, times of the uh, or hard times that I've been through uh, the weight that I carry I know that going to Jesus daily is is what is where it's at The days, the weeks, the months that I slowly drift away and I'm not fully asking God for help and I'm trying to do everything on my own in my flesh. It's the times where I fall flat on my face and as soon 
as I run back to Jesus, I feel that weight lifted. But it's a daily, it's a daily prayer and seeking of Him. The Easter story or everything I'm saying about Christ is a bit overwhelming or confusing. Let me just give you encouragement to just go to Christ on your own. You don't need a church. You don't need a pastor, although that can help. And past, there's a lot of good pastors out there that uh, bring a lot of people to the Lord, and they are great help. But I want to encourage you right now, if this is something you're seeking, you want peace and your burdens to be lifted, just get on your knees right where you're at, just as you are, no matter what. No matter what sins you're carrying, no matter how you're living, what you're living in, it doesn't matter. God wants you right now, just as you are, right where you're at. Seek Him. Seek only Him. And I promise you, He will give you the answers that you need just for you, no one else. And you'll find Him. You will find Him and you will know how to live for Him. And it will all just fall into place as you daily walk with him read your bible learn about him get in a good church and just continue on that path i'm telling you guys it doesn't guarantee again a, a life of greatness and everything's just beautiful and we're never gonna have bad things happen to us again no but it ensures hope a hope in the lord peace and just something that I just can't explain. It's there, it's real. He'll walk you through your troubled times and your circumstances that you're going through the better than any way you could possibly think you can get through it or anyone else could tell you. He'll get you through. You might not always get the answers that you want or think that you need, but multiple times in my life as I thought I needed something or the way I was going to get out of a troubled time the way I thought I was going to get out of it but I prayed to Jesus it was actually not even the way I thought and it was better it was a better way but you just have to truly believe truly believe that Jesus is the savior of your life he died for you heaven is real and he's preparing heaven for you right now and all you have to do is do not be afraid. Just believe. Come to Him. And that is it. And the rest of it, He will show you how to do it. He will show you how to walk a life with Him and, how, and get a relationship with Him. He will bring you into a relationship with Him. If your heart is willing and soft and ready. And you will start your relationship with Him and your journey with Him. You'll still struggle. You'll still struggle with sins. <laughs> Satan, the enemy, will be on your back even harder, I think, once you start seeking the Lord. But God will help you through. Have a heart of repentance. Repentance means turning away from your sins, wanting to do the right thing, wanting to follow God's principles and His commandments in the Bible, what He wants us to do, how He wants us to live. You will find all that out through getting a relationship with Jesus and receiving a Holy Spirit that will guide you and help you through this life. Through all life's, through all temptations and anything that you walk through or go through. And Jesus will forgive you. He will forgive you of all your sins no matter what in the past. And he will continue to forgive you with things that you struggle with as long as you have a remorseful heart and you want to change. So let me, so let me encourage you now to celebrate Easter all throughout the year. Here's some fun ways my family and I celebrated Easter 2023 starting with Good Friday. Here we go. Sessions. Oh yeah. Yeah, 
I was already gonna get this one. Three refills on the ices. Coca Cola the best. Everybody? Uh, yeah. For your brothers? No, All right. No. What are we? Hey, and for the party too. For the party? Yeah. Okay, hold on, Nolan. <laughs> what are we using? You're ripping this up. We're using Paws brand. Yeah. The coloring, the color cups, egg decorating kit. This is like so easy and so awesome. Uh, it's cool because the little um, food coloring comes in a little like tablet and it dissolves when you put the vinegar in you use vinegar to dissolve it and then you fill it, the little cup the rest of the way with water and it turns it a really pretty color so all right let's do it we do it first? Mm. my favorite it's your favorite one yes yeah, my favorite all right let's yeah. open it I think this one's gonna be blue. Let's do it. Blue. Blue. Look at the color coming out of it. Let's see what this one. This one's gonna be. I think this one's gonna be a other blue or green. Red. It looks like our orange. Orange. Bombs, yeah. There's my my. There's my my. Hi, Miley. Boo. Boo. Are you watching your brothers do Easter eggs? Push 
let it go. Let it go in. Let it go. Pull it out. It's blue. What color White. is your egg right now, Luke? White. What color are you going to make it? Um, um, orange. All right, make it orange. I'm okay with it, but he doesn't have clothes on, so I don't know how well it comes out of clothes, but I know off of the skin it does well, so we're all right. Stuff is candy. 2023 Trumbo that Fam slash no, Finny Fam one. Easter Egg Hunt is candy. happening candy. soon. No. What are the rules, Today Brianna? Open. Everyone has to it? pick a color out of the cup. You have to find that color. Everyone open. had 13 oh, colored eggs to find and one golden egg. Yeah, that's Just right. to make it fair for everybody because some of these older kids like to find all the eggs and leave nothing for the younger ones. Yes. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. So, you pick up all the Brianna you is awesome at coordinating like, Easter egg hunts. Let's do the 2023 Easter egg hunt. Now. Now. Hunt. Oh. Easter egg hunt! Woo! 2023! They're on the move! They're on the move! Are you finding eggs? Are you finding eggs? Go! Nolan! Nolan! Nolan, are you finding eggs? Oh, yes! Keep going! Older teenagers, are you finding the eggs? Yellow! Yellow! Yes! Dun, 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 dun. Okay, yellow, yellow. Nolan. <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Nolan. Go. Come on, Luke. Keep going. No, that's not yellow. Yay. Put him in there. He found three. We got ten more. Oh, it's not down, Doggy. Easter eggs. Luke, look by the four wheeler. Look by the four wheeler. Lukey, you found another one. Oh, I see another one over here. We did a sneaky thing. We put an Easter egg around our dog's neck. We put Rosie, nobody knows, but you have an Easter egg tied around your neck. They're all scrambling around looking for the eggs, but they go the name. It's around Rosie's neck. Go, Rosie, go! Rosie, come here! Come here. No jumping, oh down, down! You found it! Did you find it? Did you find it? Awesome! You got the she egg got from Rosie, golden the golden egg. egg. Here. Oh, <gasps> Yay, Nolan! Chase's. That's Chase's. That's Chase. Chase has blue. Miley! Oh, Miley, are you taking a four wheeler ride? Just a soft, gentle one, huh? Can we take you? And next year, maybe you can get some eggs.
Easter haul for the toddlers. This is what they got for their in their Easter baskets. Luke got a ladybug garden because he is always finding ladybugs. We, oh, and what did you get? I got this. Bath toys? Yeah. They light, oh, the they light up in the bath. Nice. Let's see. It says bath toys. Bath toys light up the dinosaur series. Aww. Anyway, here is a cute ladybug garden. He's always finding like old things to put the ladybugs in. And now he actually has a cute little garden with a cute little ladybug tunnel in it for them to crawl in. So he'll be having fun putting ladybugs in there. And then look at this. Nolan got this live butterfly net kit. And we do a share with you're gonna share it okay well we got to order our live caterpillars and then watch our butterflies or watch the caterpillars turn into butterflies or we could just find some yeah there is the little caterpillars in there and then there's the caterpillar the cocoon butterfly beautiful butterfly oh let's see and then they got some toy fish all boy here all boy they love fishing and they love anything fish so there's their toy fish and then nolan got this cute little picnic basket you like your picnic basket leapfrog anything leapfrog is amazing i love leapfrog so cute you can have a little picnic and you learn your shapes Okay, go. Yay! And then, oh, it's all inside. You gotta get all your food out. Here's your sandwich. Your watermelon for your triangle. Your fruit, your orange, and your star. And then look, you each you get a cup. That's so cute. I my love cup, it. My cup. And a little, and some forks. And my, my cup, my cup. My fork. Is that your fork? Yeah, that's my, my, this is my cup. The leapfrog shapes and sharing picnic basket. Yeah. And then Luke got this mega basket. Slime bath here. I don't know how this is all going to go down. We used to do this a long time ago with my older teenagers. My, when they were their age. And they had so much fun with it, but I kind of forgot if it's something we want to deal with or not. I don't know. But Luke absolutely um, saw this at Cracker Barrel and he wanted to get it. So here it is for Easter. And then Miley got this Fisher Price awesome magic color mixing bowl. Yeah, Miley. So cute. Miley's starting to grab for toys now on the floor. And so we thought pretty soon she's not gonna she's not like old enough yet to play with. Oh Nolan's showing you a toy, Miley. Look at She's she's not old enough yet to actually put the stuff in the mixing bowl and play with it, obviously, like that. She's not sitting up yet, but we can put the toys on the floor, and soon enough, she will be old enough to mix it in her mixing bowl. But I'm sure she'll grab for those things. I just thought it was cute. Are you going to take a bath with that? There they go, lighten up. I heard they're really bright and they light up the bathtub really good. And then the older boys, the four older, the preteen and all the teenagers, got a brand new, this was long time needed because our old hoop went down the tubes. But here we go. We got, we picked this up at Walmart and we're so happy with it. It's a Spalding. We love it. They got a brand new basketball hoop and so far it's awesome. I mean they spend hours on this thing. They did before when we had our old hoop. 
and they were really missing having a basketball hoop. There was quite a bit of time that went by without having a hoop and they missed it. And then they also got to get their, to get them outside and moving, they also got a volleyball net here. The whole setup with the volleyball. And they were playing this on Easter, they loved it. Good job. Tell mommy happy Easter in the camera.